Use his tank to maximum spider! <laughs> Having fun? Huh. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 sickest hyper combos to pull off in the Marvel vs. Capcom games. You want more? Take mine! Best. It ain't over yet! Keep the chain! You're gonna love this! Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Spider-Man Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Take your time, we can wait. Spidey hasn't had too great of a history of having compelling hyper combos. Previous games would often just load him up with a few level 1 hyper combos and call it a day. But Infinite finally did our boy some justice, which is one of the very few things Infinite ever did right. As he beats the snot out of you, Green Goblin tries to ambush him from off screen, only for his bombs to hit your opponent instead. The fact that Spidey even mentions how Norman just vanished before the hyper combo was finished is icing on the cake. Wanna take that hit, Norman? And he's gone. Maxima. Phoenix Wright, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Watch out! Of the newbies we saw come to UMVC3, Phoenix Wright was the weirdest and the goofiest character on the roster. No one else fights with finger pointing and stationary like he does, but for fans of Ace Attorney, his level 3 hyper combo pulled all the right moves. Yelling objection, presenting random items as evidence, and pointing at his opponent so sternly they freeze in horror. It's easily one of the best hyper combos you will ever see in UMVC3. Assuming you play a good Phoenix right to begin with, with all the setup it requires. Wonderful. Jill Valentine, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. It's a real shame that Jill has never hit that same level of creativity as Capcom had when developing MVC2. Really guys, why did we get RE5 Jill for MVC3? Come on. For the most part, Jill can be tricky in landing extensive combos, however, one of her level 1 hyper combos will make any Resident Evil fan smile. It certainly did for this one. Jill can somehow summon Nemesis in his T2 form to come in and shred your rival up. The best part, if you have one bar left to spare, you can have Jill whip out a rocket launcher and destroy Nemesis, and your opponent will be caught in the explosions. It's pretty freaking great. Doesn't do much damage, but still really cool. Man, I almost had a heart attack there. BB Hood, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Surprisingly, Capcom has shown the Darkstalkers characters more love in MVC than they have towards the IP as a whole. Case in point, Baby Bonnie Hood in MVC2. BB already has some pretty intense level 1 and level 2 hyper combos, but there's one level 1 hyper combo that is just full on assault. It's nothing but bullets and explosives that really should just insta kill your foe. Psychotic does not even begin to describe this, and it only leaves us wanting a brand new Darkstalkers. What's taking you so long, Capcom? You win. Felicia, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Felicia might be dismissed by some as having a hyper combo that is just pulled from the Darkstalkers games, however, UMVC3 did it in such a way that we fell in love with it. For her level 3 hyper combo, Felicia calls in a bunch of her other sexy cat lady friends to beat the snot out of you while she sits back in cowardice. And the way that the final cat lady waves goodbye at the end of the hyper combo, it's just way too adorable. I love this hyper combo. Captain America in Winter Soldier, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Maxima, or peace, 
Infinite really botched a lot of hyper combos that were pulled from UMVC3, but once Winter Soldier was added to the game, Capcom briefly explored an idea that really could have made Infinite just a little bit better. If you are using Winter Soldier and Captain America for your team, you have access to a special version of Winter Soldier's level 3 hyper combo. The duo will pull off a mashed up version of Final Justice and Unyielding Justice, where Steve is tossing his shield, Bucky's tossing it right back, and the two plow their fists into your head from both sides. Think of how many other mashed up hyper combos we could have gotten from this. Such a missed opportunity, Capcom. This was so cool. Keep the chain! You're gonna love this! Storm, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Now, Storm doesn't have a crazy level 3 hyper combo, not even a crazy level 2 hyper combo. Unfortunately, she is one of the characters that only has like two level 1 hyper combos, but both of them have some really good range and utility. Her best one though is Hailstorm. This hyper combo is just obscene in range and damage, and it's perfect in using it to string or start combos. It isn't the flashiest, and it doesn't go on for super long, but sometimes the Swiss Army Knife doesn't need to be bejeweled to hell just to kick your ass. It's that obnoxious if you're on the receiving end of it. Wesker, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Get ready to brawl. Fight! The maximum! First attack! <laughs> Wesker is one of the best characters you can play as in UMVC3 with his incredible speed, and he has one of the best hyper combos in the game. Dude really hones in on you, slices you up, and then grabs a missile in the air and tosses it at you. Capcom could have easily just done some crazy nonsense with Ouroboros, but this absurdly explosive finish was enough to make us pause until we stopped laughing. It's just the perfect amount of ridiculousness for a character like Wesker. Level two, maximum. Anacharis, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Is it crazy to say that Anacharis might have the best hyper combo in MVC2? Don't get us wrong. A lot of the MVC2 roster has some great hyper combos that can steal wins or wield some great utility. Looking at you, Cable, and your spamming Hyper Viper cannon. But Anacharis can temporarily change the game by turning himself into a freaking boss character. Our undead pharaoh will fall into the background and allow you to mash buttons just to flail his hands around. There's just... There's something really amusing about watching your enemy get smacked around like a ragdoll. Deadpool, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Anacharis might have the best hyper combo in MVC2, but Deadpool? Deadpool has the best hyper combo in the entire franchise. He bonks you on the head with his health bar before smacking you into oblivion with his own meter? Come on, even if you aren't a Deadpool fan, how can you not laugh at this or even smile from ear to ear? It's just so out of pocket, so appropriate for the character, and the most creative hyper combo Capcom has ever designed. And that mocking line he utters, mwah, chef's kiss. But what's your favorite hyper combo in the Marvel vs. Capcom series? Did it make our list? Let us know down in the comments and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great videos every day.